Well, let's turn to our correspondent, Louise Hubble, because she's in North Devon with the view from there. Louise. Good morning. Yes, I'm here in Barnstable outside the historic Pannier Market and there is a, a tricky uh, job situation here. Come inside with me and I will explain why. Uh, there's a high elderly population here. A lot of the economy is reliant on tourism, so jobs tend to be seasonal and low paid. There are very good skills jobs around, things like uh, there's a big pharmaceuticals plant, also a couple of aerospace plants and, of course, Appledore Dockyard. But those types of jobs tend to be, as I say, highly skilled and local people simply don't have the qualifications to be able to do them. So there is a big skills gap in this very rural area. Well, let's bring in John Dunkley, who's the president of Barnstable Chamber of Commerce. Good morning to you, morning. John. Obviously, some good news on these Excellent. figures today. Yeah, um, unemployment down by 35,000. Good news as well for youth unemployment. What, what's your reaction to that? Well, I certainly hope it's reflected in, in the southwest as well as, as the rest of the nation. We don't have, currently have the figures in relation to the southwest, I understand. But yes, excellent news nonetheless. Yeah. So good news, but there is also a real issue here, isn't well, there? There are real issues here. Um, it, effectively, um, local businesses, um, and most people are employed by small businesses locally, are having great trouble getting bank finance. Uh, there is real trouble with getting broadband into this fairly rural area. So there are still difficulties to be overcome, but excellent news that things are moving in the right direction. And what about the situation with youth unemployment down well, here? What opportunities are there for you, young people in this very rural there are area? There few opportunities. Um, personally, I moved away to train and came back. Uh, a lot of people don't have that opportunity. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce locally is working with local businesses to really try hard to match people skills leaving school with the jobs that are available and as you said there are some skilled employers here but they're finding that it's difficult to recruit people locally uh, because they simply do not have the skills that is being worked on and hopefully that is one of the reasons why youth unemployment is dropping slightly there's still a lot of work to do and that will take a little while to filter through I think and another issue down here is jobs tend to be fairly low paid don't they they do um, even though unemployment might be down uh, the, a lot of skilled jobs have gone away in recent years. Um, a, a local uh, plant uh, shut relatively recently that's been here for 150 years with a lot of local skilled jobs which have now all moved up to Nottingham. Those won't be replaced. So the key is to get people into better paid quality jobs which are likely to be a more longer lasting duration. OK, John, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. So a snapshot of what is happening here in this rural area of North Devon. Some positive news on the job figures there, as you heard. But here, people saying something needs to be done urgently to help tackle unemployment and to give more opportunities to young people leaving education. OK, Louise, thanks very much indeed. Louise Hubble there in Barnstable.